Foundation with FrankWarren.tv proudly present a 12 three minute rounds contest and a final eliminator for the WBO Light Welterweight Championship of the World, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office HD. Your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and the World Boxing Organization. And your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Zoltan Yidi of Hungary, Mr. Fernando Leguna of Spain, and from the USA, Miss Julie Lederman. Your WBO supervisor is Mr. Eduardo Cacholi of San Marino, and your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge is Mr. Charles Giles. At the sound of the bell and when the action begins, your referee in charge of the contest is Mr. Mark Nelson of St. Paul, Minnesota, USA. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner with an unbeaten record of 22 straight wins with 13 by knockout. Hailing from Kitzingen, Germany by way of Iraq. Weighing in, 12 stone, 5 pounds, 8 ounces, wearing the white shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning and undefeated WBO Intercontinental Champion, Carol Murat. And across the ring in the blue corner this evening stands the British and European Champion. He also enters the ring unbeaten with a perfect 19 wins from 19 contests with nine of those wins coming by KO. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 12 stone, 5 pounds, 12 ounces. He's wearing the silver, black and blue shorts from the Kefen Forest in South Wales. Please welcome the former undefeated Commonwealth champion and the current and reigning light heavyweight champion of Great Britain and Europe, Nathan Cleverly. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Gentlemen, you've already received your instructions in the dressing room for the WBO light heavyweight eliminator. You know exactly what I expect. I want a good, hard, clean fight and protect yourself at all times. Obey the bell. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three-minute rounds for the final eliminator for the WBO World Light Welterweight Championship. It's the old cliche, somebody's O has to go. 41 fights, 41 victories between one of the best fighters Wales has produced in recent times and one of the toughest that Germany has, Nathan Cleverly. Prestigious 23-year-old, straight down to business. Fast hands and looking to back up Caro Murat and show that he has the class to deal with this caliber of opponent. Murat's been in with good men. And let's see how Cleverly copes. Well, this is going to tell us an awful lot about Cleverly. Answered all the questions so far. He's decided to go straight at Murat. And I thought he would. That's what Nicky Piper was saying beforehand. He'd had a word with Cleverly. He wanted to take the fight right at Murat and go toe to toe. Is that sensible? Well, it is if you're trying to make an impression and become something special in British boxing. He wants to entertain cleverly, not just box his way home, and that's becoming an increasing feature as he whips home the body shots. Chiseled cleverly, and probably with a weight advantage on the night as well, Caro Murat up from super middleweight, and a right hand from Cleverly early on. Murat has already glanced at his corner a few times. Maybe didn't expect a great start from Cleverly to match him to centre ring. Uppercuts from Murat, who tends to 
fought forward, clamped down his opposition. The marking up around the left eye of the German base fighter. Cleverly looking to put his tasty combinations into good use. Clever fighter and a clever man. Yeah, showing good variety on the attack, cleverly. Just got to be a little careful early on. Got to remember that defence and not get overconfident. Now the uppercuts he promised he'd use. And a left hand just troubles Murat here in the first round. A large gulp of breath from Murat. First blood to Nathan Cleverly. Good uppercut again, and that punch might be perfect with the static head. The lack of movement at the moment that Murad is showing. Yeah, not much movement from Murad, but still looks strong and solid. Well, he's taken it to Murat cleverly, and he's come off better in the okay. opener. Keep on the job, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you, you're doing a fantastic job, sir. How do you find him, Moses Power? Not bad, pick, 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 pick. Left up, spin off a bit. Make him look a bit silly this time, you know? Use the up, spin off, and come across that screw. Right? Left screw, right? Doing a fantastic job, right, sir? Ready for some water? You right? Listen to you, Dad, come on. Follow the bits cleverly with the instruction. Well, did everything right. It was a solid, good start from Nathan Cleverly. Got the jab working and then got some pretty solid body punches and head punches in. And he's doing well. Very confident start from him. There's been plenty of bite and of spice between these pair. Cleverly feels that Murat has bad-mouthed him in the build-up, saying that he's no Joe Calzaghe, he's no great Welsh hero, and that he'll school him, Murat. Well, the bookies don't agree with that. Seven to one on now, Cleverly, after the promising start. Well, remember, Murat still undefeated. To warm into this a little bit. Body shot from Cleverly and swinging those uppercuts. Sharp and fast. Murat, hook happy, but not really finding any rhythm or range or much accuracy. And to be honest, Adam, I'd like to see Cleverly use the jab or soften Murat up a little bit. He's just going all in there, you know, and just. Standing right in front of Mora, and that's just having himself on a plate a little bit, the Mora. I think, Glenn, these fighters want to steal the show tonight. They want to make a statement, and they're really going to go for it. Blood around the ear of Caro Mora from Kitzingen in Germany. His 23rd fight. Again, he walks into a pinch of a right uppercut from Nathan Cleverly, who just won't let off him. No. Solid, confident from Cleverly. This is clever. Well, he stood in front of Antonio Brancali on in Wembley earlier this year. He got the job done in five. He feels he can do this, maybe in the middle rounds. Body shot was nice. Just being overwhelmed here, Caro Mura. Looks a bit lost. Yeah, probably didn't expect this at this level. But almost disdain for Mura the way he's coming forward throwing punches. It's mightily impressive so far from Nathan Cleverly. Just looks at him. Uncomfortable feel from the German. And cleverly has that eagerness and that 
intent. Almost as though he won't be denied. He wants to fight it this way. As long as he gives Murat the respect he deserves, he keeps his defenses high. It's very good what he's doing cleverly. Punch picking beautifully, Nathan Cleverly. Come on. You're doing a fantastic Fucking job, Nathan. Nathan. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell Excellent no, start from you. Nathan Cleverly for this yeah. eliminator yeah. for the WBO light yeah. heavyweight yeah. crown yeah. and ahead on all the Keep statistics there. Caro Murat's found it really hard going. Yep, yeah, I don't think he's expected this sort of start from Cleverly. Good uppercut going in there right through the guard. It's been an amazing 18 months, two years for Nathan Cleverly, who propelled himself onto the scene by winning the Commonwealth belt at short notice against Tony Oki. And from strength to strength, great British title win over Danny McIntosh as well. Carlo Murat walks into a right hand. He's going to have to bomb and weave, use those shoulders, and get out of the way of some of these punches from Cleverly. Yeah, not showing us a great deal more is he very straight up just keeping the hands cupped to the side of his head does look strong though the former european champion himself caro murat but used to backing people up and now under pressure hasn't got an answer right up to the body cleverly producing on the big stage Now those studies are over. He's a full-time pro. He might just get better and better. A little success from Mura. He needed to get some. He's trying to get his jab working. But just the punches keep coming in from Cleverly. Head and body from Cleverly. Still not totally subdued, Mura. Just the one worry is he's put so much into this early spell, Nathan Cleverly. But he's conditioned, he's very fit. Down in the valleys, he trains so hard. Murat still covering up. That left hook was good though, Glenn, to the body of Murat. Surely he's got to start wilting at some of this pressure. Well, I'm sure that's what Cleverly is hoping for. He just keeps throwing the punches out. More good, clean, exquisite action, though, on this big bill. Great stuff, isn't it? It is good stuff. Murat getting a little more confidence on to let his hands go. Cleverly standing. He needs to use his height, use his reach, get him behind that jab, soften him up. A sensible way. A bit too much bravado for me. Tight guard, Murat trying to unload with some hooks. Uppercut squeaks through again from Cleverly. But here comes Murat. Good shots to the head. A little shift here. End of the third. Cleverly just on the receiving end. Back he comes. It's Machismo from Nathan Cleverly. Wow. Unbeaten in 19, nine knockouts. Terrific amateur he was as well, won 31 of 34 in that trade. Last six by knockout, the power improving. Was there just a little concern at the end of that one, Glenn, though? Yeah, well, I'd expect him to change tactics in the corner now. He should have come at you then, the last 10 seconds. He didn't do it. He's changing his game plan, all right? Back in brilliant. You won, you won, that round again. All right, you three rounds up, man. Don't panic. You've got to box your way in behind the jab. Don't just walk in, OK? Come on. Excellent advice there from Dean Powell. Not too much of the pressure. No, I, I feel that they've just got to be a little bit careful now. Get them behind the jab. Murat, I just felt, was getting a bit more confidence in that round. Akaro Murat unbeaten. He's got 13 stoppages in a career that started in September 2006. He's only 27, cleverly younger, but Murat with ambition and hunger. And back behind.
him the jab. Has he listened to Dean Powell there? That would be interesting and impressive if he has. Good body shot from Cleverly. Cleverly just pouring with the jab, looked in that nice right uppercut though, but Murad come back with his own. But for me, no, Murad having a little bit more success. Just blocking those uppercuts, Murat. That peekaboo guard, but Cleverly still has the hand speed. Murat with the thumping hooks. Good headshots from Cleverly. Catching Murat. Working the openings. And again, just a look from the German as if he's in a haze. Trying to fathom out cleverly. Cleverly throwing an awful lot of punches, though. Good right hand from the side. Strong and solid, Caro Murat. Is there a danger that Cleverly could be outlasted if this early pressure and assault doesn't work? He just a bit too much quantity and not enough quality from Cleverly. Could do with just slowing down and picking his punches more. Is he staying in the pocket too long, Glenn? I think he is. I don't think he's fighting a smart fight. I know he wants to impress and the, there's pressure on him to do that, but it's not that smart. Good headshots there, end of the fourth. This is where he began to break down Brian Callion earlier in the year. But Caro Murat still looking dangerous. And a left hook just clips Cleverly's chin. And again, back end of the round, Murat comes on. And Frank Warren is livid. He's on his feet, Cleverly's promoter. Oh, and some nastiness here. Timeout, nothing round the back of the head, says referee Mark Nelson. Murat complains. It's getting hard in there, Glenn. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy with him in the corner. He needs to change tactics and use his brains. Tantalizingly poised. Let's get over to Ev, who's got Nicky Piper with him. Well, Nicky, great start, but is Nathan Cleverly struggling a bit now? Well, it looks like, you know, Murat's been very, very calm under the pressure. He's took it well, and he's uh, throwing a lot back himself. Nathan has started to tire a little bit there. He needs to get his second wind and start again, because he's uh, he needs to start thinking again. Dean Powell's been calling for more jabs and Nathan to use his brain a bit and box on the back foot. Well, Nathan said he was going to have a tear-up, but he's having a tear-up. Now he needs to maybe change tactics. As Dean said, stand back, throw the jab, give himself a breather, get his breath back, and then maybe start the attack again. But uh, that round was a lot closer and um, looked a bit uncomfortable there at the end of that fourth round. Don't get drawn into a silly fight. You can make this easy, but you've got to keep it long. Dean Powell reading the riot attacks and you've got to keep it long. He's ahead in the fight on the computer, all that. No doubt about it. But is it a bit suicidal, this, from Nathan Cleverly? Are these tactics going to backfire? How much is in the tank? He better hope if Murat stays with him, there is plenty, Glenn. Yeah, I think the corner got a little bit carried away by his early success and didn't get a game plan. This is an undefeated fighter with a, a good record. He needs to just use his smarts a little bit now. And for probably the most intelligent boxer in Britain today, from an academic stance, has the game plan. Well, has he not thought it through properly? Has he got sucked up in the height, Nathan Cleverly? Well, remember, again, this is boxing, this isn't pure mathematics. Murat certainly getting closer. Not deterred. Obviously with a big heart and a big engine. And has he taken Cleverly's best shots? Because that's a problem. It looked in the last round, he was growing in confidence a little bit, starting to get a few of his own out. 
Now, maybe in doing that, he'll leave the openings for Cleverly to get his punches on, but Cleverly, again, looking to throw quantity rather than quality. I'd like to see him slow down, pick quality punches. It's also rapid from Cleverly. The class is there, but just being caught a few times now. Straight down the pipe there, deep breath from Cleverly as he goes back. This is a really good one, Glenn. Excellent fight. You thought it would. Very good matchup. You know, you, you expect this eliminator for a world title. The Welsh fans get behind their man. They want the dragon to roar again. Gum shield out of Caro Murat and a momentary respite. And Frank Warren is talking to Nathan Cleverly. He's one of his golden boys. Do you think that he thinks this is kamikaze? Well, Frank's seen enough boxing, you know, to know that he's he's taking chances. You know, he just wants him to steady it down a little bit, pick the punches more, get that jab working. That would be the sensible thing to do. I mean, it's making for a, a good entertainment. The crowd loving it, loving the work rate from Cleverly, but he needs to win. It's an absolute corker. So much action in there. Punches raining home, and now from both sides it's become a more even spectacle. Murat with some success, combinations, now he's trying to drive Cleverly back. Good right hand and left from Murat, Cleverly comes back though. Toe to toe, and promoter Frank Warren and the whole of the Cleverly team are in disbelief of what's going on in front of them. No safety first. This is a real terror on his way to world title level. And Nathan Cleverly annoyed. The only time he's hitting you is when he's swinging with you. So you've got to step in with a jab, throw the right hand, keep it long, okay? Come on. He's going to be in there. What, why, you, why are you doing him? You're leaving him to throw a field. Yeah. You're sacking him in already. Oh, before you can finish him, you can't finish him. No chance. Well, Father thinks Cleverly is all buoyant, but Dean Powell's such an experienced man. I know he worked your corner all those years ago, Glenn. He's angry. Yeah, I think, you know, I just feel that Cleverly's father getting a bit carried away. And I think he needs really to listen to Dean Powell, listen to Frank Warren. They know this game. He's got to just reserve his energy a little bit, pick the punches. Three rounds, three points up for Nathan Cleverly on Glenn's unofficial card. Three judges at ringside. But I think the worrying thing is that Caro Murat, for the Welsh fans, is getting right back into this. Good body shot from Cleverly. Needs a good session here. And here he goes, winding up the punches, finding the accuracy. Showing so much bustle. Well, certainly got a great deal of mental strength, hasn't he? Murat nearly went there and an uppercut. Referee goes in for some reason. And a cleverly back with the left hand. And is he breaking? The strong, stubborn German down. Well, he's going for broke here. Probably against all the advice of, of the people around him. But, it, you know, it's a, it's a mark of self-confidence, isn't it? He knows how his body's feeling it. Nathan Cleverly is doing this his way. He's elected to stand in front of him and throw bombs. Murat tries to throw left counters from the right, Cleverly sticks his tongue out. He's got a good chin and he's relying on that and the extra precision in his punches. Well, if he can win, if he can win here Cleverly, he's going to win fans. Because this is, you know, it's a good performance. Is it the wrong tactics, but it's good to watch. It's thrilling, Glenn. That's what it is. And the fan club will grow if he can get the job done. Right hand from Cleverly. Extra class. 40 seconds left in the sixth. And now it's hard for Caro Murat. 
Yeah, Morat looks as if he's struggling a bit in this round, isn't he? But he's still there, still throwing punches back. And he's lifted the crowd, but he comes back again, Morat, with good punches. Yeah, one weakness of Cleverly has been a lack of defence at times. You heard Amir Khan saying he keeps his hands low, Cleverly. And as he gets tired, that might be a problem. This is a humdinger, Glenn, a really good one. Yeah. Another round for Cleverly, good work, Ray. They both look so tired and we're only halfway through. But total self-belief and such a strong, such a strong mind, hasn't he, Cleverly? He believes he can get this done, he believes he can stop Murat. Got no fear or respect for, for the, the German with the undefeated record, taking it to him, throwing the punches and trying to take all the way, all the will away from Murat. <laughs> and Kel Brook, he's waiting for his opportunity. He says he's going to steal the show by obliterating Michael Jennings in his hardest test today. I'll tell you what, James DeGare will believe he's stolen it. Nathan Cleverly wants to. It's wonderful to see, isn't it, this British talent coming through. Yeah, great bill of boxing. Second half, WBO light heavyweight title eliminator. Champion Jürgen Brahma from Germany and Karo Murat hoping to get a clash with him. But Nathan Cleverly just seems like a man possessed. Super fight and fascinatingly poised. Who's going to win it? Well, Cleverly, he certainly thinks he's going to win it. And he's doing a lot right. He's making a few mistakes, though. You wonder about his tactics, but he's winning the rounds and he's impressing people. Still only 23, Cleverly, who is a sparring partner for Enzo Macronelli, also on the card tonight, and Joe Calzaghi. Brought up the hard way in the Welsh Valleys. But Caro Murat, he hasn't had it easy either. Better opposition. Will he last the pace? And the only thing with Murat is he's a bit one-dimensional. Can he change? Can he do anything different? I'm not sure he can. Yeah, cleverly, definitely with a natural ability. Looks at his corner there, Caro Murat. Is it beginning to become tough? A few good shots inside there from Murat, though. Red hot pace. A grueling encounter. We have that thrilling fight between Roman Martinez and Ricky Burns to kickstart our season. I tell you what, it's revving up for quite a year, isn't it, Glenn? It certainly is. It's revving up for quite a night, isn't it? <laughs> Still lots more to come. And this one's far from over yet. Neglecting the jab, really, Nathan Cleverly. Looking for the uppercuts. Left hook from Murat. More back from Cleverly, though. Finding the accuracy and the burst when he's needed them. Strong is cleverly now. Well, he looks fit, he looks strong, he looks full of fire still, letting the punches go. Mura landing a nice combination there, though. Good combination from the unbeaten German. Look at how these two want to preserve their undefeated records and go on to a fight for a world title. It's wonderful to see this commitment. Slip across and bang the left hook over. Yeah. So you jab, slip to your left Both and bang corners the over, working okay? hard, not as plenty. hard as the but fighters. Tiny, more Nathan, head, more on. body shots no, no, for Nathan Cleverly. Like and it now oh, suddenly yeah. looks like Caro Murat is feeling the pace. The odds, well, they've 
They've decided the book is 12 to 1 on cleverly. They believe it's a matter of time. Do you? Yep. I mean, he's looking the stronger of the two. He's looking the confident of the two. Mura just starting to look a little bit like a beaten man, but, you know, he's undefeated. So we don't know how, how much it takes to beat him. What he's got left in there. Has he got another surge? And is he, as you said, just a tad one-dimensional to go on and fight for world honours? Proven at European level, but cleverly might just be a world champion in the next few months. It's possible. Right hand from Murat, not finished yet. But cleverly with a body shot and the attacks. Some fight this at light heavyweight. And so far, anything Murat has hit cleverly with has just gone unnoticed. Cleverly seems to have a, a good solid chin. Excellent work rate. Letting the shots go, left hooks, uppercuts. And there's a cut bridge of the nose for Caro Murat. Dabs away at that, looks at his corner. Distress signals are coming out, but still... He tries to throw the hooks at Cleverly, but there's a spring in the step of the Welshman. And now, he begins to utilise his skills too, Cleverly. Left hand from Murat. Resistance, stubbornness, but I get the feeling, Glenn, he may be wilting, Caro Murat. Accidental head clash. Draws by the referee. It's a great effort, this, from Caro Murat. Under so much fire, too, Glenn. Yeah, he's still there. Doggedly trying to throw punches back. Cleverly has the air of someone that won't be denied, though. He's elected Nathan Cleverly to do this the hardest way possible. Just trying to break the spirit, break the will, break the body of Caro Murray, who gets back with an uppercut. He's certainly not going to question Cleverly's oh, will. The one from Cleverly, the uppercut. Last 20 seconds of the eighth round. Murat could just be on the brink. Cleverly continues to throw out the punches and still Murat stays with him. Extraordinary. Yeah, he's proven himself Tom, some tough cookie, isn't he? Thanks to determination from Nathan Cleverly. Straight back to Ed and Nicky, who must be loving this. Well, Nicky, great action. How are you scoring it, first of all? I've got seven rounds to Nathan and only one to the German. But, um, you know, he's looking superb at the moment. Murat's starting to look a little bit uh, weary and tired. Nathan obviously tiring a little bit too, but I've got him well ahead. Do you think Nathan Cleverly can get to him now and stop Karo Murat? I think so, he can, he can in the last couple of rounds. It's been really hard work and fair play to Karo Murat. You know, he's put up a good performance. But Nathan is looking super. He's, he's an entertainer. He gives us such uh, brilliant entertainment. It's been good. You think he's trying really hard to please the fans as much as win the fight? I, I know that was his intention before the fight. You know, he know, knows he needs to look good. He needs to impress this. The seven guys on the bill tonight are all trying to get the line right. Nathan's taken the, uh, the, the, the number one spot so far. Thanks, Nicky. Yeah, thanks for those comments. Meanwhile, the referee and doctor just had a look in the red corner. Come on, son. Come on. Of Second Carlo Murat. Nathan right. cleverly still looks fresh, but it's getting really hard now. This assignment doesn't look totally happy about coming back into battle. Certainly, the legs have stiffened of Murat, Glenn. Yeah, I mean they've always been pretty stiff. He hasn't. He's not a good mover. Pretty one-dimensional Murat. Cleverly growing in confidence, still letting the punches go. He's got total belief, hasn't he? Oh, right hand, huge shot. Murat's chin holds firm. But you sense if the Welshman can have a fast start to maybe this round, he could force a stoppage. That uppercut. 
has worked wonders for Nathan Cleverly, who's outclassed Caro Murat through most of this, but it has not been easy, not one little bit of it. Well, Murat, solid and strong, but not much else, is there? Easy to hit, very straight up. That's why he's had so much success with that uppercut. And those two wins over Christian Sanavia, possibly when the former world champion was old and on the way down. Still Murat trying to deliver a haymaker. But if Cleverly can keep his cool, surely his best victory to date is on the cards. Still Murat spits out a little fire. He's not going without a crack, is he, without a fight? No, you often find that undefeated fighters, you know, they, they desperately don't want to lose that O, do they? It's, it's cleverly at 23, who looks the one more capable to handle himself at world level. And younger, fresher. More fire, more about Nathan Cleverly's game. It's the better boxer in there, the gum shield loose again of Caro Murat. You seem to spit that out there, to be honest, Adam. I think he's buying a little bit of time where he can now, Murat. Very experienced corner man in Ulrich Wagner there. I wonder if they'll take another look at him in between rounds. Because it's becoming more one-sided. Left hand from Cleverly. Can't get out of the way of some of these shots. Caro Murat. But don't take away the bravery and spirit he is showing inside that ring. But the speed, the technical ability of Nathan Cleverly just looks all too much for Murat. Cleverly dominating and finding the punches that matter. Welcome back, a great deal of discussion going on in the German corner. Doctor in there, referee, very experienced training team. Is there anything left in Caro Murat? Should he be caught out, Glenn? Well, I think he's still got a bit of fight left in him. It's not that one sided. He wants to come out, but the referee has called it off. Nathan Cleverly gets his biggest win in a hard, grueling fight, which was exciting. A real treat for these fans. He's now unbeaten in 20, this sparkling 23 year old, and he could become a world champion soon for Britain. Well, a little surprised at the referee's decision there, but still not a bad one. Cleverly well on top, and he was the one that was getting through with all the punches, and Murat just looking subdued in the corner. The referee made a bold and brave decision. And Nathan Cleverly made a bold decision to stay in that pocket, take the fight to Caro Murat, and he becomes the first man to defeat the German and takes the spoils in this WBO light heavyweight title eliminator. Bring on the world, Glenn. Certainly, he did that well. Self-belief was massive, wasn't it? He went against, really against what he should have done, doing it the, the sound technical way, but he had a point to prove, and he's proved it. Well done. Nathan Cleverly, victorious. And an excellent performance to stop Caro Murat. He showed a different side of his game tonight, cleverly, and maybe that's the extra tick in the box needed to become a world champion. We wait and see. A happy team. Big smiles. He's doing everything right, isn't he, cleverly? Enjoying his time, and I bet the fans enjoyed that fight.
Ladies and gentlemen, at the start of round 10, your referee has stopped the fight on the advice of the doctor. The winner, who now gets a shot for the WBO World Light Heavyweight Championship from the Kefin Forest in Wales, in the blue corner, Nathan Cleverly. Ladies and gentlemen, around the How hard is Nathan Cleverly? What a workman. Amazing performance against Caro Murat. And Cleverly wins that WBO light heavyweight title eliminator. What a scrap. And what a scrap we have for you next. Could be the fight of the night. It's a war of the roses. Lancashire represented by Michael Jennings. Experienced, tough. Once shared a ring with Puerto Rican puncher Miguel Cotto, but failed in that world title bid. Tonight is up against Yorkshire hard man Kel Brook. Have to go some to live up to that, Johnny Nelson. Wow, yeah, a breathtaking performance by, by Nathan Cleverly and, and, and by Carl Murray as well. Very, very cool. Let's hear from Nathan Cleverly right now, talking around Robinson. Nathan, a wonderful fight, wonderful result, but could you have made that a bit easier on yourself? You seem to kind of look for a real battle there. Um, well, in the build-up to the fight, I think Murat especially would have expected me to box behind the jab and move. That's what all his opponents have done in the past, but for this fight, I thought I'd surprise him and get in the mixer and wear the fight out of him, because I can box in close just as good as anyone. And the plan was to, to wear the fight out of him and eventually stop him in the later rounds. I, said, I actually predicted, round, what was it, round nine, round ten? You promoted didn't look very happy. Frank, what did you think of the tactics? A little bit reckless? <laughs> it, it annoys me, but you know these mathematicians are mad, don't you? But I, I, I actually, I mean, he done, what he did, he did well. When, you know, when he was, he was out gaming him, or should say out gaming because he was a game fighter, but he was out, you know, out fighting him. But is an easy way to win that fight, wasn't it? I mean, he worked more on his jab and his straight shots, but you can't take away from him. In the end, he did what he had to do at the end of the day. I, I mean, it, you know, I bet this, this fella, he is a brave fella, he's undefeated. And you know, Nathan had in his head what he wanted to do, you know what his game plan was, at the end of the day it worked for him. Nathan, do you feel ready for anyone now? Yeah, of course, you know, I, I'm still young, i still got a few things to learn, I'm not naive. Um, but, you know, I keep on going back to the gym and I prepare for every opponent. Karim Murad, another step up, ranked one, number one by the WBO. It's just a matter of, of bit by bit getting to the top and I predict in 18 months I think I can be undisputed like heavyweight champion. Well done, exciting stuff. Amir Khan, excitement is the uh, the key word there. Nathan cleverly delivered big time there. It was very he? exciting because, you know, Nathan took the fight to Murat, and Murat is the one who was the pressure fighter in his last few fights that like we've seen. Uh, but very exciting. And what fitness, you know, his fitness just didn't stop throwing punches. He seems so fit and strong and takes a good shot as well. Could you fight that sort of game plan in a world title fight, though? Well, it's going to be tough because, you know, you're going to have uh, the, the opposition that be uh, going to be a bit smarter. So I think Nathan still has to stick to his long jab, use his advantage, that's the long reach, I think, and his height. I think he should, you know, go back and um, look at the drawing board again, look at this fight, and I'm sure he's going to learn, learn a lot from it. Jim, it was a bit reckless at times, but it worked for him. Yeah, well, you have to decide. Do you criticise him for his recklessness and his failure to, to box the instructions from the corner? Or do you acknowledge the fact that he showed qualities tonight that you cannot put into a fighter? Determination, willingness to go through the pain and do whatever it takes to achieve victory. And I think Nathan showed that in abundance tonight. I thought it was a phenomenal performance. He can't keep doing this. He won't get away with that at proper world level. But I just thought it was a fantastic performance. I think the fans already have their money's worth I thought it was incredible I think for this fight I think for this fight uh, Nathan knew he had to take it to Murat remember he was 22 and beating Murat so therefore he's just found a formula that can beat him taking the fight to him sharp shots uh, sharp shooting getting around the jab and breaking his heart and that's what he had to do and that's what he was doing because you saw Murat towards the, the back end of the fight staggering towards the ropes and leaning on the side of the saying I'm absolutely shattered nobody's ever done this to me so he showed brains well I think he could have completely outboxed Murat and hardly taken in a punch, I think he's, he's bigger, naturally bigger, he's stronger, he's quicker, he, he beats Murat in every department, but he doesn't want that, he wants to become a star, he wants to please the fans, and I think he's done both of those things tonight, I thought that was a tremendous performance. It really was a tremendous performance, let's get a reaction ringside, Nicky Pipe with that. Well, exciting stuff. Nicky, what did you think overall about Nathan Cleverley's performance? It was terrific, I mean, there was obviously a method to what some people would have said was madness. He uh, really took the fight away from Murat, and he knew that uh, Murat tucked up and uh, counted. Uh, and boxing would have been maybe a long 12-round fight that he could have won. 
but he did it in style, looked great, and uh, and got the stoppage. You know, which was a really, really terrific performance. He's just 23. Would you like to see him hold back a little while, or do you think he's ready for a world title? He's talking about being undisputed champion in 18 months. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the light heavyweight division is a very good division. You know, there's some good fighters at the top. Um, I think the WBO title is there for the taking when he gets the chance and uh, then maybe a few defences. Make some money, you know, in, in, you know, excite us again a few times. Then go for the big boys, you know, the Jean-Pascals, the uh, Bernard Hopkins. There's some really good fighters up there. Thanks, Nicky.